T minus one minute and counting. T minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the night time sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Starting back to two thirds of the latest thrust. Passing the maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. Here's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remaining go for discovery. Altitude eight miles. Speed 1,700 miles an hour, downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. A minute and a half since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles, speed 3,000 miles an hour, already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Pen. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boostoffs are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Marone. Two engine Marone. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Marone, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Five minutes remaining until main engine cutoff. Speed almost 5,000 miles an hour, altitude 53 miles, downrange 110 miles from Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> 